In this video, I will provide a brief overview about remote control transmitter and the most common operational mode. Basically, there are two types of operation mode of the RC transmitter, namely mode 1 and mode 2. Before talking about these two modes, we have to understand the terminologies related to the left and right sticks of the RC transmitters. There are basically four keywords to know which are related to the airplane direction wings. First, we have the rudder that is the yellow surface in the back wing which is used to steer the vehicle into a certain direction. So, the rudder is used to control the heading which is also called the yaw. On the other hand, the aileron are the left and right surfaces in blue color that are used to control the rolling of the aircraft that is the direction with respect to the X axis. The elevators are the left and right surfaces in green color that are used to control the elevation of the aircraft and referred to as pitch, which is the orientation with respect to the Y axis. Finally, the throttle controls the up and down direction of the aircraft in the direction of the Z axis. These four keywords are used in the two control sticks left and right of a remote control transmitter such that every stick can control two of these directions. However, the RC transmitter have different operation modes that depends on which stick, left or right, is assigned with the control of directions among the four possible alternatives. So let's look at the mode number one. In mode one, the right stick is assigned to control the aileron, that is the roll, when it is moved left and right and to control the throttle when it is moved up and down. The left stick is assigned to control the rudder, that is the yaw, when it is moved left and right, and to control the elevator when it is moved up and down. On the other hand, mode 2 is configured differently. In mode 2, the right stick is assigned to control the aileron, that is the roll, like the mode number 1, but it controls the elevator, that is the pitch, when it is moved up and down. The left stick is assigned to move the rudder, that is the yaw, when it is moved left and right, like the mode 1, but it controls the throttle when it is moved up and down. So the difference between mode number 1 and mode number 2 is the assignment of the elevator and the throttle, which are interchangeable from one mode to another. These modes need to be configured through the ground station. The ground station also provides an interface for radio calibration of the RC transmitter. This slide shows the radio calibration interface from the mission planner ground station. The user is requested to move all left and right sticks to their extremes, either left or right and up and down, to perform radio calibration. It has to be noted that radio calibration must be performed correctly to be able to control the vehicle with the RC transmitter, otherwise the autopilot might reject to arm the, the vehicle and also with reject of executing any command from the RC transmitter. Thanks for watching.